The world is drowning in plastic. And let's not forget that most of that plastic waste is coming from rivers that are transporting our waste into the oceans. And let's not forget that plastic turns into microplastics, which are small pieces of plastic that can sometimes not even be seen with the naked eye. Did you ever wonder what the world is doing to try and clean up all the plastic pollution or even prevent it from ending up in our environment? My name is Amari Walker and I am a PhD candidate studying plastic pollution at Duke University. And today we're going to talk about seven of the coolest technologies that are currently used to clean and prevent plastic debris along with microplastics in our water. But first, don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe button along with the notification link right next to it so you can get access to when I drop my next video. So right now, there is over 50 technologies that are used to remove or prevent plastic debris from ending up in our water. And some come with the coolest names like water goat trash trap, holy turtle, or jellyfish bot. But first, we'll start with what I rank as number seven, which is the storm trap trash trap. This is a technology that uses nets to capture waste and debris from our stormwater and our wastewater. These nets act as a filter to capture and remove trash. Next, in our own homes, we can be dumping up to millions to trillions of microplastic fibers into our wastewater every time we wash our clothes. One of the easiest and most successful technologies that we can all use is technology number six. It's a Cora ball. This ball is placed inside of our laundry machine as we're washing our clothes and will remove those microplastic fibers before they end up in our wastewater. Now there are other technologies that you can also use in your laundry machine, including other forms of filters or laundry bags to capture microplastic fibers. The Cora ball itself is about $40 and you can purchase it online. I will leave a link to the Cora ball in the description below. Number five, some of these technologies use robots and drones to remove plastic from our oceans. Number five is one of the coolest robots with the most anticlimactic name, Fred. Fred, Fred. Fred stands for floating robot for eliminating debris. This robot is a conveyor belt which collects trash out of the ocean and is stored on a solar panel vessel. How cool is that? This robot is geared towards collecting large floating trash on our oceans. So really cool. Number four. Nearly 20% of all of our waste in the ocean originates from shipping vessels that intentionally or unintentionally release plastic waste into our oceans. Number four is a technology found in Portugal called the Clever Volume System. They use sensors to determine the volume of waste that was originally on the ship compared to what they actually reported when they arrived at the port. This will allow for greater accountability for waste dumped into our oceans. So go clever. One of the biggest issues with lost debris comes from fishing gear, which then becomes ghost gear. However, technologies like number three, the net tag from England actually have transponders so that they can help fishermen find their lost gear at sea, including their nets. Other technologies like GPS and satellite have also been used for debris recovery. Number two. Now, I used to joke that we could not just remove all the microplastics in our world with a magnet, but now I have to hold my tongue because technology number two does just that. This invention originates from Ireland and they're working to combine oil with magnetite powder to bind microplastics to this mixture, which allows for removal with a magnet. Now, this technology is not in use, but it is really impressive and has really strong implications for the future. Coming in at number one, for the most impressive technology to remove plastic at all sizes is called the Hula One. 
The hula one is a vacuum that can take up to three gallons of sand per minute and then separates the particles based on their buoyancy. And because plastic floats, it can easily be separated from sand and the sand be replaced back into the environment. So that is great and has huge implications for our beaches and our coastlines to at least get some of those microplastics out of there. And those are my top seven. If you want to learn more about these technologies and even read the paper discussing them, I will post a link to the database and the paper below. And either way, leave a comment down below sharing which one is your favorite technology and why. So with that in mind, don't forget to like this video again and subscribe to my channel. And I can't wait to see you in future videos. Don't forget to check out my playlist on plastic pollutions and solutions. Take care.